The Giraffe Who Said Good Night by Addison Books. It's hard for a giraffe to fall asleep. No position is quite right. It is very tough for me to say good night. I wanted to see how the other animals go to bed. But what they did didn't work for this sleepyhead. The monkeys used their tails to sway themselves to a quiet slumber. But my tail was too short, and that rock had my number. The cheetahs would run around until they were tired. But I couldn't keep up, and that left me wired. The ostriches would stick their heads in the sand to pass out. But that was no fun. I'd just get dirt in my snout. The elephants would curl their trunks and play a lullaby. But the noises they made sounded more like a war cry. The rhinos would stomp into the ground to settle themselves down. But when I tried, my hooves would just get caught in my gown. The flamingos would stand on one leg to get some shut-eye. But all that pressure on one knee just made me want to cry. It's hopeless. Why can't I get a good night's rest? Not being able to sleep is making me stressed. What works for others won't work for you. You can try all day until your face turns blue. Now, put on your nightcap and get under the covers. Otherwise, you might wake up all your sisters and brothers. Stretch out in your bed and let out a big yawn. We need you to sleep before the stars are all gone. Try counting sheep. One, two, three, four. And before you know it, you'll start to snore. Rest your eyes to block out the moonlight. Curl into position. Ah, at last. Good night. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to the Story Rack. If you like this story, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.